everybody and thank you so much for joining my channel my name is Rocky and we talk about fashion lifestyle a little bit of beauty and my city of Chicago so we're gonna get right in to it so today's video is a haul it is from one of my favorite places and that's urban outfitters I wanted to hurry up and show you what I got just so I can get into wearing them only challenge is that they did not have a fitting room so let me get started so first we're going to start with um the beauty part and we're going to get that out of the way really quickly so i was very surprised to find out that oh hi products were an additional 50 percent off at the urban outfitters surplus store that i went to today and i shared with you guys that i was absolutely smitten with the oh hi natural deodorant that they have so no um aluminum and such in it i love the rose scent so um the normal price on this is twelve dollars and i got them for four dollars today so this puts them at the price of basically a, um, a regular deodorant and it's 2.5 ounces um, again i love this so i got six of these um, rose ones and i grabbed two um citrus tea ones Mm, just for a little bit of variety um, it smells really nice and I thought why not four bucks right the other things I grabbed were some lip gloss from Ojai and I have no idea if these lip glosses go on sheer or op opaque and I'm really hoping that they come on sheer because the colors on them are pretty deep it's a lot of pigment you know based on just looking at them but these are if they're sheer these are shades that I feel like would go really well with my skin tone but we're gonna have to We'll find out. Or maybe we just do, if it's not sheer, we just do a little bit and make it go a long way because <laughs> these are some pretty deep colors. But I'm really excited to try these and that's all we have for beauty. All the rest of the items are fashion and so I'm gonna dive right into this. Um, the very first thing I got is off season, but it is a, what is this? I don't even know what the, like a chenille, really thick chenille plaid skirt. It has two little leather buckles. This is this is giving me 90s vibes for sure. Um, I didn't even check to see if they had an extra small. I was just looking at this and I'm like, that this is this is small. Um, the small is pretty small. So I stuck with the size small, didn't go extra small, and I'm hoping that's okay. I do have 60 days to return anything that didn't fit since the fitting room was closed. So I will try this and we'll see if this works. The next thing I got is a um, pretty summery dress in a way because it's, I mean, it does have sleeves. I've been trying to get things that do, do have sleeves on them. Um, the original price on this was $89 and I got it for uh, $9.99. I was loving, so these are two colors that I really don't have much of in my wardrobe, but this is purple and green. I don't even know what this scene is. It's like a cowboy riding through the desert with all these, so it's a green cactuses and, and a purple horse and um, cowboy. So I don't even really know what the scene is, but from a distance, it just looks fine. But if you look close, you're like, what is on this <laughs> dress? But I love this, the baby doll dress thing, of course, and it has sleeves, because I told you I always have like a little bit of a chill going. And it has a very, very deep V. I am slim chested, so uh, deep V's are fine for me. It won't expose or flash anybody. I'm really excited to try this one and I love the price. This next one is probably not as orthodox as most people would pick up, but this is a, um, a sequence crop top. So basically taking the place of your normal average basic t-shirt, but just adding a little flair to it. I thought this would really be cool for any um, events that I go to in the summer because I feel like we're going to open back up this summer. And I've purchased a few really cool um, pumps over right before COVID shut us down and during show, the, the COVID shutdown. I, I purchased a couple pairs of um, pumps that would really work well with this. I'm seeing this in my head worn with a high-waisted pencil skirt and the pumps as well as the shiny pumps, as well as with jeans, and I see this with sneakers and all that stuff. I see this a few different ways in my head just by picking it up. Um, the, the versatility in my head that I saw made me think that this was worth paying the price. This was $19.99. The original price was $54. The next item has a tiny bit of a story. <laughs> This is a first of all, this is a nostalgic piece. This is a Mitchell and Ness t shirt. 
And on the t-shirt, you have Allen Iverson back in his college days um, playing for Georgetown. Um, but this is a Mitchell and Ness t-shirt. So what a lot of people who, only people who've known me for a really long time know this about me, but um, Allen Iverson is my past. <laughs> I'm not even going to explain what that means, but Allen Iverson is my past. And um, I was in love with him for a long, 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 long time. So I thought, pick up the t-shirt. What? Well, this t-shirt is kind of long, so what I'm going to do is, and I don't want to lose this really cool patch that's on here. I'm going to cut this and crop it. I'm going to cut this patch out, and then I'm going to put it on the back here. So I'm going to do a little bit of uh, DIY craftiness on this piece, but... Um, I, I absolutely love the idea of rocking my pass <laughs> on oh, my shirt. <laughs> and the next piece is a pair of jeans. I have been obsessed with finding the right pairs of loose fitting jeans. This one is from the Urban Renewals uh, brand, which means it is recycled from old vintage clothes and they've styled it. This was really cheap, 10 bucks. And, uh, the only gripe I have about this is that it is really distressed, as you can see this. They've they've done this to the piece. They've distressed it like this. Um, but we'll have to see how this fits. This is listed as an extra small, so they've, you know, retailored this so that it's an extra small. These are Levi's jeans, button fly. Um, so I've been looking for oversized jeans for a while. I'm really hoping that this... Um, checks the box for me um what what i've been struggling with is um the notion that straight leg every i don't know most brands think that straight leg means loose and straight leg is loose for people who have straight bodies i do not have a straight body i am shaped like this facing forward and shaped like this <laughs> facing sideways so I got a lot of curves I heard the definition what's the definition of a curve again the most beautiful the, the most scenic route between two points or something like that that's what a curve is the most scenic route between two points and uh, I have a lot of those <laughs> so anyway that's my, gonna be my that's been my challenge with finding the right pair of oversized jeans the assumption is that um, just because you size up it will fit right no, that is not. The, it has to be the right shape because if you have curves, it kind of ruins the whole oversized thing. So anyway, that is that. I am going to try this and see how this fits. Hopefully this checks the box for me. But I had a really good shopping day, good shopping experience. All of these things. So I got eight deodorants, two lip glosses, one, two, three, four, five pieces of clothing for um, under $100. So I think I did well today. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and leave me any comments below if you have any questions or feedback. Um, subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the like button. Share with your friends.